While Pope Francis has been in the United States for his tour, we have heard very little about CERN. Over the past week, CERN has become an afterthought in many people's minds. But make no mistake about it, the European Organization for Nuclear Research has not been silent. And in fact, there is reason to believe that CERN scientists did, quote, break through the veil on the way to extra dimensions, though CERN has publicly denied to the media that this is their ambition. Recent articles published from September 21st through the 23rd point to the fact that CERN has established, quote, symmetry with another dimension though particle scientists are still attempting to sort through their own discovery. Interestingly, Symmetry is the name of the highly occult song and dance trailer produced by CERN that showed the opening of the abyss, the birth of dark matter, and the strange ritual dance and interaction between dark and light that was previously illustrated in I Pet Goat. One article dated September 22, 2015, which began the Day of Atonement, is headlined with, quote, LHG Breakthrough Unveils Key Facts About the Fundamental Symmetry of Nature, unquote. So on the Day of Atonement, while almost every news source discussed Pope Francis landing in the United States, the results of a study confirming, quote, symmetry between our existing dimension filled with visible matter and another parallel dimension filled with dark matter was released to the public. CERN has now updated its website and suggested that another world called, quote, the Hidden Valley may actually exist. A description that sounds more like an abyss, a world made of dark matter having very little in common with the matter of our world. While CERN's website celebrates its supersymmetric confirmation and hypothesized the Hidden Valley might be within reach based on their data readings, one might not realize the symbolism of a valley in the Bible. A valley symbolizes judgment, and almost every use of the word valley in the Bible refers to a place of desecration, corruption, or judgment. In Judges 6.33, we see Midianites and the Amalekites and the Sons of the East, and it says that they crossed over and camped in the Valley of Jezreel. Jeremiah 32.35 also talks about a Valley of Judgment, where people are crossing through fires as a sacrifice to Moloch, seen as an abomination to our Lord. Isaiah 22.5, Micah 1.3-4, and Joel 3.14 all talk about valleys in reference to the day of the Lord and the coming of judgment. It says in Isaiah 22:5, For it is a day of trouble and of treading down and of perplexity by the Lord God of hosts in the valley of vision, breaking down the walls and crying to the mountains. Jeremiah 19, 1-5 speaks on the Lord's judgment coming on the kings of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, a time of great calamity. It is there that Jeremiah receives a word of the Lord, that the valley of the son of Hinnom shall be renamed to the valley of slaughter. We see in Luke 3, 4-5, 
the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth. While CERN scientists report the emergence of the hidden valley on the day of Yom Kippur, we must remember that valleys are often associated with judgment in God's word. But Jesus, who died on the cross, was buried and was bodily resurrected three days later, according to the Moedim, who ascended to the right hand of the Father. Our Lord Jesus is the one who can fill the valleys. He is the one who can pardon us from the coming judgment. And make no mistake about it, judgment is coming. I want to say that there has been a lot of criticism regarding some of my videos surrounding CERN's agenda to open a doorway specifically talking about the breaking through to another dimension and the unveiling of Prometheus to our current world. Due to headlines about Pope Francis and Donald Trump, most people are unaware that CERN established on the Day of Atonement the preliminary aspiration to a much larger agenda. They cracked the door I suspected they were trying to crack, but many have heard very little about this in the media. Remember that, according to physicist David Lapointe, CERN is not hunting for dark matter or dark energy at all. The chief ambition of CERN is to use magnetic power to overcome constraints of time and space and force open a door. So I made a magnetic scale model of the CERN dome, placed a set of them in my vacuum chamber, and fired it up. Not only did these CERN bowls form a spherical shape at the center of the reaction, but they also formed a disk of plasma around the nucleus, as well as ejection jets along the axis. After running the experiments for a few days with the CERN bowls, they were removed from the vacuum chamber and photographed, revealing the patterns you see here. These amazing patterns will also be discussed further in part four of this series of videos. If you haven't watched LaPointe's Primer Fields Part 1, I encourage you to do so. In this video, David LaPointe explains why he doesn't believe in the existence of dark particles or the dark universe, but instead points out the unusual resemblance between CERN's dome and the architecture found at other historic sites, including the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C., St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City, and a variety of Roman Catholic churches throughout the world. The publication on Yom Kippur of CERN's achievement, establishing the fundamental symmetry of our world with the hidden valley, is only the beginning of what is to come. These amazing patterns will also be discussed further in part four of this series of videos. Then once it was realized that the key pattern required for this theory was found in the dome at CERN, it was also discovered that CERN was not the only place with the required pattern. The pattern has been there for centuries at the Pantheon in Rome, which has been referred to as the Vault of the Heavens. Then the required shape was also found at St. Peter's Basilica.
Then one of my favorites was found at St. Paul's Cathedral in Medina, Malta. Notice the angels circling the hole at the top of the dome, and compare that to the glowing ring that is found inside the bowl-shaped magnetic field emitters in the vacuum chamber. Why are these angels on fire exactly where they should be? Much more on this dome and the others later in this series of videos. So it seems that people often want a sign from God that we are not alone. Sometimes God does give us a sign if we just pay attention. Sometimes he even puts that sign up over the capital of the United States of America.